love The Mandalorian? I love The Mandalorian. I thought it was a great, uh, best thing that Star Wars has put out in a long, long time. I agree with you. The one thing The Mandalorian made me want to do is play West End Star Wars again. Yeah. Apologies if you're into the fantasy fantasy flight. Fantasy flight. Uh, books versions of it. Uh, we're not. No, we're not. We're not interested at the moment. Um, Nothing no, wrong no, with those. Yeah. That's... No. No. This or that. It's just that we just love the West End system. It's just an easy system to work with. They have so many source books. So it's it's we ha- we have enough to if we wanted to emulate the Mandalorian series, we have it here. We we'll have to wait uh, till. Fantasy Flight gets their game together and put out a source book for it. We could just do it right now. Exactly. Um, so before we get into this, uh, um, I had a uh, interesting revelation about Star Wars fandom recently. Okay. I was talking to a friend of mine, and she was saying that she didn't like The Mandalorian, and she didn't like the Solo movie, and she didn't she didn't really like uh, um, Rogue One. And so we were talking about that. And I eventually figured out she didn't like those movies because she didn't have West End. To her, Star Wars was the saga, right? The Jedi, the Force, uh, Luke Skywalker. Basically the Holy Trilogy, right? The the first three movies. Um, And for me, Star Wars, there's always been two Star Wars. There's been the saga Star Wars, right? So... Luke and Leia and, and the Force and all that, the Jedi, that's great. But there's always been another Star Wars, and that, in my mind, was always the West End Star Wars. That's the rest of the universe, the people who aren't the Jedi, the people who don't use the Force, the, the, the Han Solo movies, and all about Han Solo. So if you only think Star Wars is the saga, if that's what you really love, yeah, you're, you're not going to yeah. you're not gonna really like The Mandalorian or any of that. And, you know... You know you want to play the the the, uh, the fantasy flight game because in that game you get a lot more Jedi, a lot more Force. In this game, this game was written very strictly around the the you know Star Wars and Re- and Empire and Jedi. Yeah. So there were only two, three, two, one Jedi. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> and so you couldn't play a Jedi. Yeah. Or at least it was very, very hard to but, play a Jedi. But see, that's what I like about the Mandalorian series. Yeah. I, it wasn't, I mean, besides that one character, well, I guess we could say spoilers. Spoilers, you know. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, Baby Yoda using the yeah, Force. Exactly. And, that, and that was fine. I didn't want too much Jedi. I don't want Jedi everywhere. It kind of dilutes what, in my opinion, what the Jedi are. Exactly. Know? So if you like that sort of Star Wars, then West End Game is for you. And we're going to tell you exactly what you need to role play a Mandalorian game. That sort of set on the outer rim during the New Republic game. Yes. So the first thing you need is the the main main book. book. West End, they put out several different editions. This is the second revised and expanded edition. This is probably, this is the last one. This one's great. The second edition would work as well. Yeah. And and if you can't find this, uh, Fantasy Flight did put out a 30th anniversary. Yes, they did. They put out a box set. Is it 30th, 35th, I believe? Uh, Yeah. It's it's an anniversary special. (laughs) It's a slip case. It's got this book and the source book, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Um, But then Fantasy Flight, I mean Fantasy Flight, no, sorry, West End put out a bunch of other books. First one, of course, they put out these Galaxy Guides. First, Galaxy Guide 10, Bounty Hunters, of course. This book will tell you all about the Hunter's Guild. It'll give you uh, different characters. It'll tell you how uh, the the um, bounty hunters interacted with the Empire and the New Republic and all that. So this is obviously the place to start. Does it have like information about guilds? Like they, yes. you know, they emphasize like guilds and the like the honor system and. They ta- it's got a chapter about the guilds. Yep, talks okay. about the guilds. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, okay. so you've got the gills. That's great. Uh, Galaxy Guide 9 is Fragments from the Rim. Now, this is a great book. This um, this is a setting book about the Outer Rim. Now, right. this book um, is set during um, the Civil War, so the Empire's still around. But the, but the information is easy to port. A lot of this would still be the case during the... Uh, the um, the New Republic. This book is so much fun. It has got so much crazy information. It's got pirates. It's got more bounty hunters. It's got um, 
It's got uh, corporate families and businesses. It's got a section on drinks. Okay. <laughs> it's got a section on um, the Hollow Net and and the news services. It's got a section. It has got a section on music. What music was popular? Okay. And how the different bands relate to the em- the empire. Right there are there's Boba Fett and the Assassin Droids. <laughs> <laughs> There's the Emperor's New Clothes, uh, Deeply Religious, ex- uh, Advanced Explosive Hands book. So that is a wonderful setting book. It re- no one does setting like West End. Okay. They completely grok Star Wars. It was amazing. Galaxy Guide 4 is about alien races. You get all of your classic alien races. I mean... Um, the ones that aren't in the main rule book, like Wookiees or something, will be in here. You've got Hammerheads. Uh, you've got all sorts of ones that they've just made up for the game. Squibs, for instance. Hmm. All sorts of weird things to populate your game with. That's great. Over here, we have fantastic technology. So things for your bunny hunter to use. Gadgets for them to use. Um, all sorts of different guns, tanglers, you know, they can tangle people up with, uh, you know, the um, uh, the, the flamethrowers, the jetpacks. It's amazing how many things West End games came up with that became canon. In uh, one of the last episodes of The Mandalorian, the, the uh, Imperial Remnants set up an E-Web repeating blaster and i almost fell off my chair e-web repeating blaster from this game (laughs) these guys invented the e-web repeating blaster and it is so crazy wow um so uh there are other books that i don't have um they have books on the new republic the uh the best book um they took a lot of um uh, they had source books for the Timothy Zahn novels, which were uh, the the stories of the New Republic. So uh, there's a source book for the Heir to the Empire. If you pick that up, that'll tell you how the New Republic works. That'll give you the, the rundown in the New Republic that you want to use. It's also a book on uh, pirates and privateers. Hmm. That sort of thing that uh, that the Mandalorian would run into. There's the corporate sector. Okay. Uh, book all about the you know uh, the quasi legal giant corporations there's a book on criminal organizations hmm. the crimson sun from um, solo that's them yes. again <laughs> uh, so with these books and with this system you could easily run a game like the Mandalorian okay. you could be a bounty hunter you could be any sort of alright so just to go over so Bounty hunters is this will help you create a a, a class in a yep. sense. You mm-hmm. know everything yep. you know to be a bounty hunter in Star Wars. Yep. The alien races pretty much, as it says, races that you can pick from. Yep. Um, and game masters can choose from also for antagonists. Sure. Yes. yes. You know. Then you have the setting, the the fragments from the rim. You know, which gives you the the worlds and the habitats and things you should know. And of course, uh, important details like I like the fact that music. Uh, and beverages and things like that are available, so you kind of get more of a, of a flavor yeah, to your yeah, game. Yeah, it, it seems more lived in. You know, and of course, you know, gadgets. You need you need Lots your technology. Lots of gadgets, sure. Oh, you know. and there are planet guides. They have several books um, about different planets. Okay, uh, we'll we'll put a link in the description so that um, fortunately a lot of these source books are no longer in print. Uh, you can find PDFs. The link we will put in the description is a wonderful website um, which has all sorts of information on um, you know, the timeline of Star Wars and all sorts of things about um, the, the expanded universe and, and things like that. But it also has PDFs of all of this stuff. Hmm. All of it. All of these books that you can download for PDFs for free and uh, check it out. Yeah. One thing I want to add, yes, um, for those that are looking to put this together for your players, I would like to add that if you have a second, well, actually a few hours, <laughs> uh, uh, maybe check out some like some classic westerns or even better, some classic samurai films. Uh, oh yeah, and, you know, just because uh, the, the Mandalorian series, I mean, if you look at the the, the, the feel of the music, the pacing, um, 
uh, even the battles, all that is very inspired by uh, my well Japanese cinema, really. You yes. know, which West, which Westerns took a lot out of and made their own, made it their own as well. Um, I was just just do a little bit of that, just so it gives you. I mean, there, there's some episodes on there that's like, okay, this I've seen this in a samurai movie somewhere. Oh yeah, I know I have. Yeah, you know, and so I, I, you know, I, I would honestly, if it was myself game mastering it, I probably would watch some of the look for as like a samurai movie or something like, okay, I like this story. I'm gonna use this and update it for this Mandalorian ish sure, sure. setting yeah. that I want to do. And the see how um, it goes. the rule book here actually gives some pretty good advice on how to make things feel like Star Wars. So, yeah. And of course, watch the first three movies. Of course. Yes, the Holy <laughs> Trilogy. Definitely. <laughs> All right. Um, well, anything else? No, just looking forward to season two. Yes. All right. Thank you so much for watching. May the Force be with you. That's right.